Fulton Hogan's goal or vision is for this to be a industry showcase quarry in New Zealand um, and we also use a statement about being fit for the future. We want it to be part of the community to the point the community don't even appreciate we're there as a neighbour. Miners Road's a good example, if you get the opportunity to drive past it you won't even appreciate there's a quarry behind the native landscape bund. That's what best practice looks like today. Good opportunity to go and make that observation, it's hard to visualise that even with a 3D model but encourage people in the community to actually take the opportunity to look at our Miners Road site and ask themselves what can you see. I used that term earlier on about it being a site of the future. It's our intention to go beyond compliance and minimising dust within the site or the potential for dust in the community is a good example. We will be bringing weather monitoring capability so we have prevention rather than reaction, uh, bringing existing best practice such as sealing of internal roads, water carts, fogging machines as a preventative rather than a reactive solution. That gives me a high level of confidence that dust for the community won't be an issue. So the DHB report has confirmed that there is no public health risk with silica dust. Fulton Hogan doesn't want to be associated with creating any risk around public health to do with drinking water. If there was any concerns whatsoever, we would not be considering the site or having an operation within the Christchurch community that could create any public health risk around drinking water. We have actually modelled the traffic movements from the site. 90% of the transport movements will go onto the motorway infrastructure. That will take those trucks away from the local community and it will be the most efficient way to make sure that we don't have any significant impact on transport movements on local roads. It's all about location and cost and the cost is directly associated with the cost of building your house and your community. If we go further out, the cost of the community to build not roading infrastructure but housing infrastructure will go up. Things like the concrete or aggregates in your foundation of your house, the cost implications will have an impact on the whole community. An operation like this is a long-term investment. We need to make sure that we develop relationships and that does take time and trust. I think the best example is to go back to our track record at Pound Road about our relationships with our neighbours and within our submission there will be compliance requirements. We will meet them on day one but we will continue to develop technology about making this a leading edge site within our industry.